in the media these days and uh, all things digital, it seems to be that, yeah, well, apples and oranges. Apples get converged with oranges and all kinds of other fruits and vegetables. And uh, we have Jake Richter here of John Petty and Associates, uh, whose expertise is convergence. Uh, where are we going with this? Well, everything uh, with digital media, which is video, which is uh, audio, everything's coming together on multiple devices. Um, you can share your, your, your video content from your PC onto your cell phone, onto your PDA, onto your Sony PSP, onto your iPod. Take it with you, bring it wherever you want, use it at home, show it on your TV, move it from one room in the house to another. Um, all that content out there is now becoming almost ubiquitous and basically what you want to go and view, want to listen to, want to, want to see, want to interact with is something you can take with you wherever you want. But we have all kinds of issues uh, for certain things like bandwidth and connectivity and everything and um, you know where is this now and where is it going? Well there's kind of a leapfrog thing that goes on which is that the, the bandwidth goes to a certain level, certain technology comes up to take advantage of it, certain bleeding edge companies go and they, they go with the next step up hoping for more bandwidth, well that finally comes so they're, they're basically at the, at, the, at the right level at that point more bandwidth comes beyond that so that you get more and more capability. Last night, for example, I was uh, seeing a demonstration of uh, uh, a two megabit video feed of pure HD, which is just incredibly, incredibly gorgeous. It was, it was just like playing it off of a, a Blu-ray disc. Uh -huh. And uh, that was coming off the internet. And this uh -huh. is new technology now that now is starting to be able to work because the bandwidth is there now. When we start getting fiber to the home, you'll get more stuff that way too. So it just it's it, it, it technology kind of they catch up with one another. Are some of these compression technologies? I've always wondered because is is compression of video just becoming better and better, or is there a limit to which that can go? Actually, I, th I think in some of the compression certainly getting better, but what's happening is because you've got higher processor speeds, higher bandwidth, it's not as critical for the same type of old information. Where, where compression comes into play in newer technologies is when you're trying to send greater amounts of information, like an HD signal, and actually have that come across uh, and come across clearly across some sort of uh, medium, whether it be the internet, whether it be a local area network or so on. And you do need better compression for that. Certainly also the passing around of files and people emailing each other's WMV clips and MPEG-4s and things like that. That requires a lot of compression, but you also then lose your, your detail, which I, I'm sure, as you've seen, when, when you look at really crappy video and really good video. You can see the difference. Uh, do you have any examples of uh, unusual cases or unusual uh, examples of media convergence, some things that may be in the future? Well, what I've been seeing here at the show has been people actually using more traditional media devices like uh, the memory sticks or SD RAMs that you use in a camera and actually using them for the transportation of, of video and actually having dedicated video players that play only from SD. Uh, one of the uh, companies uh, announced, I believe it was Panasonic, announced an SD-based camcorder where it actually records onto, onto SD portable media. So it doesn't use hard disk anymore, which is last year's news. It doesn't record on DVD, it doesn't record on a tape. It records onto an SD chip, or onto, onto an SD card. Now, there's a major magazine that uh, just a few days ago predicted the demise of the CD. That's, that that's going to that's gonna disappear. Uh, and now we're talking about uh, Blu-ray and we're talking about HDVD and all of these things. Are those going to disappear sometime in the near future too? It's certainly possible. I, I, don't, I don't personally agree with the CD disappearing uh, as long as there is digital rights management on the content that you download from the internet. If, as long as you're restricted from basically playing your music wherever you want, by iTunes or by whoever else has this DRM built in, CDs will certainly have a place because you can take them anywhere, you can load them to friends, you can do whatever you want to with them. With uh, Blu-ray and HD, you kind of end up in this interesting situation where you have these competing standards, each party wants the other sides to lose, but there are a lot of efforts being made to perpetuate both standards. LG uh, Electronics from Korea just announced on Sunday a uh, player, their BH100, that'll play both HD DVD and Blu-ray on the same single player and the same single tray. And they've got a PC version of that coming shortly. Um, Time Warner, I'm sorry, Warner Brothers tonight is going to actually release their high definition total DVD, or total high definition DVD, uh, which is a THD. That's going to actually be media that movie studios can ship out that plays in both, both Blu-ray and HD DVD um, players. So there's actually kind of this interesting convergence of the two standards happening here, not because either side wants it, but because the market seems to be necessitating it, because people don't want to have to make a decision, buy something that might go and basically be you know, useless a few years down the road because no one supports it. Thank you, Jake. Uh, 
Jake Richter of John Petty Research.